Day everyone, we are group 3 and we were assigned to report for our PETA in basic calculus. I am John Marsuwon from grade 11 STEM understanding and I am the leader of group 3. So he, here is our first question. In a function of f of x where f of c is indeterminate, is it correct to say that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c? Why do you say so? But first, isa-isahin muna natin ang mga given. Ang, gi ang unang given ay f of c is indeterminate and the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c. Ang maikling sagot sa ating tanong ay No. It is not correct to say that the limit of x, of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c if f of c is indeterminate. Because indeterminate form is an expression that we cannot be able to determine the original value even after the substitution of the limits. Ang ipinapayawating nito ay hindi na ang value ng f of c ay hindi maaaring malaman o matukoy batay lamang sa value ng c. Kung ang c ay may certain value, ang limit ng f of x approaches to c is equal to f of c ay posible pa rin mag-exist ang limit kahit indeterminate ang f of c. Ang limit value ay maaaring maging finite number, infinite number, o hindi talaga ito mag -e exist At ito ang mga example. Limit of 5 minus x as x approaches to 1. Dito, mag-substitute lang tayo. So, substitute natin yung number 1 doon sa x. Ang magiging equation natin is 5 minus 1. And 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So, since ang f of c natin is indeterminate, masasabi natin dito na hindi equal ang, ang f of x dahil ang limit of f of x ay may limit na 4 and sa f of c naman is indeterminate. So, yung example. Next example is the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 3 as x approaches to 3. So, kapag sinabtitute natin siya ng diretsyo, ang magiging sagot dyan is 0 over 0 which is indeterminate. So, ang gagawin natin, i-expand natin yung nasa taas which is x squared minus 9 and ang magiging factor out niya is x plus 3 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. So, pwede na natin i-cancel dito ang x minus 3 at ang matitira na lang ay x plus 3. Dito, pwede na natin i-substitute yung 3. So, magiging equation is equal to 6. Sa f of c naman, which is mag-substitute lang tayo ng 3, ang magiging equation dito is 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. So, 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. And 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. 0 over 0, kaya siya naging indeterminate. Therefore, ang magiging sagot natin is, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 is not equal to f of c. In a function f of c, f of c is in undefined. Is it correct to say that lim of f of x, x approaches to c equals to infinite? Why do you say so? I I say no. So, if we talk about a function of x is undefined at a specific point f of c, it means that the function doesn't have a proper value at a point. But here's the cool part. The limit of f of x as x gets closer and closer to c can still exist. It's not automatically infinite just because the function is undefined at f. The limit could be a regular number, positive or negative infinity, or it might not exist at all. To figure out the limit accurately, we have to know how the function behaves around that point. There are functions where f of c is not defined but lim of f of x, x approaches to c, exists for example f of x equals to f 7 x squared minus 7 over x minus 1. So, substitute the x, it will become 
7 times 1 squared minus 11 over 1 minus 1. The answer will be undefined. So, let's solve for li limit of f of x. x approaches to 1. Note that f of 1 does not exist but limit of f of x x approaches to 1 equals to 14. Limit of x approaches to 1 7x squared minus 7 over, over x minus 1. We need to factor out this indeterminate or 0, 0. The factor is limit of 7 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus minus 1 equals 7 times x plus 1. It will become 7x plus 7. Substitute the x, 7 times 1 plus 7. So the answer will become 14. You can see lim limit of f of x is not always equals to infinite. Hello everyone. I'm Dan Bardonato. The next number. Now let's proceed to question number 5. In a polynomial function f of x, is it correct to say that limit of f of x is equal to f of c as x approaches the c? To form a polynomial function, we're going to use the equation of polynomial function, of course, which is f of x is equal to a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 up to a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0. We need to prove that c is any real number because polynomial is defined at any real number. Now to prove if it is any real number, then we're going to evaluate the function using limit of f of x is equal to f of c as x approaches to c. To take the limit of f of x is equal to a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 up to a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0. It should be equal to the value of evaluating the function where we're going to substitute the value of c to x which is f of x is equal to a sub n times c raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times c raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times c raised to n minus 2 up to a sub 1 times c plus a sub 0. Now, we're going to apply the limit theorems in evaluating limit of f of x as x approaches to c. To know if the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to f of c. So the value is limit of f of x is equal to a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 up to a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0 as x approaches to c. We need to separate because there are additions. So limit of a sub n times x raised to n plus limit of a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 as x approaches to c plus limit of a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 as x approaches to c up to limit of a sub 1 times x as x approaches to c plus limit of a sub 0 as x approaches to c. After that, we're going to put the constants on hand. So it will become a sub n limit of x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 limit of x raised to n minus 1 as x approaches to c plus a sub n minus 2 limit of x raised to n minus 2 as x approaches to c up to a sub 1 limit of plus a sub 0 as x approaches to c. After that, we're going to change the x to c. Then it will become a sub n times c raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times c raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times c raised to n minus 2 up to a sub 1 times c plus a sub 0. Now, this is the example for polynomial. We need to evaluate limit of 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. We need to know our function which is 
f of x is equals to 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1. Our value of x is negative 1. So all of the x that you'll see here is we need to change it into negative 1. So it will become f of negative 1 is equals to 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 4 times negative 1 squared plus 1. Next is equals to 2 times negative 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 1. Negative 1 because 3 is odd so it's, it's still negative 1. And the power of 2 is even so it will become positive 1. So the answer is equals to negative 5. So we can say here that limit of f of x is equals to f of c as x approaches to c is equals to f of c because they are equal. That's all. Thank you. We are group 3 and thank you for watching our performance task for basic calculus.